Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'll be showing you my fall morning skincare routine. Let's begin! The first step is removing my excess makeup from the night before with a cleansing oil. This one is from Bior, I really like it, but don't they don't have it in Ulta anymore, sadly, but it's still on Amazon, so it's all good. It removes all my makeup, especially stubborn mascara and eyeliner without irritating my eye area. Step 2 is my cleanser. This Bior Blue Agave Balancing Pore Cleanser hasn't stirred me wrong. It's literally the same cleanser I've been using in my other skincare videos. I feel like it does a great job of clearing out the dirt in my pores. I just rub it in for about 60 seconds, then rinse it off with warm water. Step 3 is my chemical exfoliant. This step isn't necessary, but I have a lot of dark spots from old acne I'm trying to get rid of. This one's from Dermalogica, it's their daily microfoliant. I just started using it a couple months ago so I don't see a crazy difference yet, but it has definitely brightened my skin. I just pour the powder into wet hands, rub it in between my hands for a little bit, then exfoliate my face. Step 4, I usually do this in the shower. Right after the exfoliant, I put this moisturizing mask on, hop in the shower, then remove it. This one is also from my other skincare videos as well. I swear by this Skin Food Strawberry Mask. So I waited 10 minutes, then came back and washed it off. Step 5 is my toner. Right now I'm using this one from Thayer's. I don't know how I feel about it to be honest, but it preps my skin for all the products I'm about to use. Step 6 are my serums. I use two. The first one is from The Ordinary brand. It's their brightening serum. Y'all, I love this serum. It makes me look more awake and it's so affordable. You can get it at Ulta, Sephora, or online. The second one is the Fat Water by Fenty Skin. Y'all, this smells so good. It makes my skin look so hydrated. It's definitely less of a toner and more of a serum. So that's why I use it as a serum instead of a toner. Then I just fan it so it can set and dry faster. Step 7 is my essence. I talked about this one in my last skincare video too. It's the CauseRx AHA 7 Whitehead Power Liquid. It's good. I'm looking for a new one to try though. It's almost empty so if you have any other recommendations let me know because I'm out and looking for a new one. Step 8 is my moisturizer. My holy grail of a product. This is my Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I'm actually gonna try the one from Fenty just to see if I like it, but I love this moisturizer so much, so it's gonna hurt me to go try a new moisturizer for a little bit. But if you want a cheap, good moisturizer, I recommend this one. This is only $5. It works so good. I've been using it since high school. I recommend it so much. Step 9 is an eye cream. 
This one is from e.l.f. and I actually really like it. It makes me look more awake and I really didn't expect to like it as much as I did. Last but not least, step 10, SPF. Since my skin is more vulnerable due to the chemical exfoliant, I need to protect my skins from UV rays, even if I'm inside my house. This one is the Black Girl Sunscreen and it literally has no white cast, it's made for black people, it's amazing. Please wear SPF y'all. My brothers, one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. I'ma tell me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hated us. That ended with life when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists. So one day I'll be stomping on on stage. Also, don't forget the chapstick. We need to moisturize our lips. I hope you enjoyed this video, it was one of my most recommended videos at the moment. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!